Hello everybody, today I want to talk to you about a truth that affects every one of us in probably the most significant way. In fact, it's so important that if we don't consistently practice it, we could very easily stop the flow of God's blessing and power from operating as it should in our lives. Ignoring this truth, no matter how justifiable the reason, will cripple our faith, steal our joy and bring bitterness and bondage into our lives. It's the act of forgiveness. I'm talking about true forgiveness, not the kind that says, I'll forgive, but I won't forget. The forgiveness I'm talking about is the kind the Lord Jesus himself holds every one of us to. It's the forgiveness that is not based on feelings, but a deliberate act of our will. Ephesians 4.32 says that we are instructed to forgive others even as God has forgiven us. He has removed our transgressions as far as the east is from the west and He remembers them no more. He never holds our sins against us and it's how He expects us to forgive others. Now you may think this is absolutely impossible. And humanly speaking, I believe it is. But God wants us to be free from the pain and destruction and forgiveness brings in our lives. And He knows we cannot do it alone. But until we take the first step to forgive, our freedom and healing will never come. My husband and I were hurt and betrayed by people who made it their intention to destroy us. But the Lord told us to forgive, release and bless. Luke 6 28 says invoke blessing upon and pray for the happiness of those who curse you implore God's blessing and favor upon those who abuse you oh my trust me my natural instinct was certainly not to do this but because I trust the Lord and I know that he loves me obeying him is the only way I will live free and victoriously so we chose to forgive God's way and bless those who cursed or hurt us. Do you know that the pain and disappointment that was caused by that incident has been washed away by God's love through the power of forgiveness? We are free and you can be too. Just have to choose to forgive the way God has forgiven you. It's not impossible and He expects it of you.